Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Microbial Sector. Um, I'm guessing we're going to be some sort of scientist or something, or we're being a test subject. We'll find out. All right, start. Unreal angry bug. All right, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and jump scares. You've been warned. It's your first day on the job. Not much information was given about it, but you really need the money. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Only thing is, uh, they don't tell you anything. All right. So, can I actually reach this guy? No. All right, instructions. Uh, welcome to your first day as a life form researcher. We are thrilled to have you join our team. Lower your task and inst instructions for operating the equipment. Press the arrow button to start the conveyor belt. Just, okay. Uh, pick up the object that requires research and place the object on the platform with a cross. Uh, scan the object using the, like a scan button. Use the grapple button to remove or put on the glass cover. Uh, use the look button to lower the microscope for a closer examination of the object. Each life form has a code. Type in the code into the keypad after scanning the object. If you don't see the life form in a system, type 0000 on the keypad instead. Pick up the object again, place it back on the thing, and press the button. Alright. So, let's uh, get our first thing. Purple tendrils. I think that would be coral. All right. Uh, scan it. All right. Uh, what do we have? Pulsating yellow bobbies. All right. I don't like the random noises. There we go. Mucor heliocilius. Um, is a species of fungus characterized by its unique radiating spore pattern. The image displays the distinct circular structure of the sporogram which exhibits a sunburst-like appearance with elongated starations emanating from the center. This fungal species belongs to the Mucoralis order and is commonly found growing out of stems of, and from plants and flowers. Its distinctive out... This, oh, okay, I lost my spot. Its distinctive morphology makes it easily recognizable under the microscope, aiding in its identification and study in micro, microbiological research. O oh, two one four. All right. Here's your next uh, research object. Okay. Is this a window? Can you open it? Ah. Oh, a flower. Scan it. What are we looking for? Is there something? There's just spots. There we go. That's oh, the star. The water star. Alright, uh. Let's put the lid on. I don't trust any of this. That was the first thing we had Amoeba Astralis. Um, are small translucent organisms shaped like water droplets with a bioluminescent star-shaped structure inside. These fascinating protozoans 
flow gently and are typically found on plant surfaces in moist humid environments. Their presence indicates a healthy, organic, rich habitat. Okay. Cool. Oh, uh, 82, 83. Okay. And we got Bark. Oh, wait, there's something right there. Blowing hair. All right. Blowing hair. What is that actually? Play this one. Luminifera philomorus. Are commonly known as phosphor tendrils. Are slender glowing tendrils that emit a bright green light. These tendrils are typically found growing on dead trees and bark, where they anchor themselves into the decaying wood. The bioluminescence of the phosphor tendrils provides a faint, eerie illumination, creating a memorizing display. They are studied for their potential applications in natural lighting and bioluminescent research. Okay. And that would be 2917. We have the anemone. Which does not show up in the scan. Looks like a nose from the side. A face. Anyway. Purple tendril thing. I'll lid on that. There we go. It's a uh, Vita more mutagen. Looks more blue than purple. It is a recently discovered organism known for its translucent blue growths that infect animals and plants. Okay. These organisms feature elongated tentacle like structures that draw nutrients from their hosts. Infection leads to rapid, unpredictable mutations in the host. Well, that's not good. Uh, Vitamorph mut mutagen effects and life cycle are still largely unknown, making a significant focus of ongoing scientific research. All right, uh, 9487. Okay, here you go. There you go. Lunch break. Take one and pass the rest along. Can I just pass? No. Okay. I'll eat my green goo. I guess. I hope it's like pea soup or something. That sounds so revolting. Okay. Alright. What is our next test subject? Not really test subject. We're not actually doing... They over there on the end, they, they might be doing something like that. Yeah, stop, stop that. Do I have to lift the lid off? If I actually have to remove the lid. Is that just stupid? Alright, so nothing here, so it must be on the back side, maybe? Yeah, I would say so. 
Does anybody else suddenly feel very itchy? I kind of do. Little white aphids or something. Got the lid back on. Alright. Definitely not. Oh, it's probably this. Uh, Paraphophages, futures. So, oh, okay. Commonly known as mold mites, that's what we'll call them, are tiny translucent mites that thrive in high humidity environments. They are often found in areas with mold or decaying organic material. Mold mites feed on fungi and mold, making them common in damp or water damaged spaces. While generally harmless, their presence can indicate underlying moisture issues and contribute to allergic reactions in sensitive individuals. Okay. So, 0042. See something there? Oh, it might be in the shaft. 0042. Yeah. Here you go. Here's your sign. Okay, we got a mushroom. A blue one. Hey, is that the... Is that the little yellow nodule thingies? Yeah. We've already done this one. Right? Yep. Okay, that one's easy. We don't need to take the lid off of that one. Yeah, uh, 0214. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of that. That was easy. Seen that, done that. Next. Just here. Okay, uh, what do we got? Here. Well, I see something there. Zoom in on that. Little red spider. Air. Alright, easy enough. Red. How was that? Anyway, it's a red spider thing. There we go. Acarus fairy ingega, whatever. <laughs> Commonly known as rust mites. That's yeah. I like those simpler names. Our tiny mites characterized by their reddish colored bodies and eight legs. These mites are typically invisible to the naked eye, though fully grown sessions may appear as small red dots. That's not very small. Rust mites are often found on metallic surfaces where rust is present, as they feed on oxidized metal. The presence of rust mites is a sign of high humidity and ongoing metal de de degradation. All right, 5290. Oh, I got to pick it up. That's right. I'm like, oh, well, okay, it's done. The blue thing. Okay. Let's get that. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, we got the scan in. Let's get a closer look at it. Alright. Oh, God, no. Okay, no. Okay. No. Oh, what the hell? Where'd it go? Help. No. Oh. 
Oh, the door's open. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the elevator. So thank you. Okay. Why is it leading me somewhere? Or is this what it did? Oh, hi, kitty cat. Where's your cat? Hi. Can you help me? Can I pick you up? No? Okay. Oh, power. That works. Hi. Can't do anything with you. That's sad. Alright. Alright, well, there's a cat now. Oh, we can leave. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm going down fast. I'm going down real fast. We're fine. Hey, why am I trying to open that door? Get that. What's that? Uh oh. <laughs> oh my knee. The creature latched onto your face, and as your vision blurred, you felt your body begin to change. Okay. Scare the crap out of me. <laughs> Microbial sector. All right, that was a pretty good game. I enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Um, give it'd be down in the description. Check it out yourself. It's great. Um, but yeah, please leave. A, let me know what you thought, and please leave a like and a subscribe. It'd be great if you can. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.